morning guys, Zindagi with SUK continues and it is Zindagi on Safari. We're loving the experience so far. It is brilliant. Mara and Guy, this place is amazing, seriously. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed my bed rest so much. I know, but I'm a bit I'm a bit late for breakfast, but they accommodated me. Thank you so much for that one. At least you have, brother. Right? You have to, yeah. The bed was so good, that's yeah. right. You do want to get up. <laughs> Too comfortable, huh? True, true, yeah. true. Let's see what the chef has for your breakfast. Yep. Breakfast time, and they say it's the most important meal of the day. Eh? That's the start of the day, brother. Uh, true, yeah. true, true. You gotta do it. Start of the day. Yeah, hey, our brother is there. John. Yeah, my brother. Morning, sir. Yeah, yeah. You okay, brother? You good? Not at all, my brother. Yeah. Nice, nice. He's ever smiling. I like that. <laughs> so, chef, I want uh, omelette, uh, two eggs. Which and, omelette? Uh, just put for me a bit of everything. Yeah, a bit of everything. Do you have the same? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. My breakfast in Mara gets awesome because I got my omelette just the way I wanted it. Breakfast at Mara and Guy. We had to cover this, you know, because the breakfast is a very important meal of the day. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Could you agree with that? Actually, it's, it's healthy. And they say, you know, the, the, the fun fact over here, uh, even I'm becoming like Sufyan now. Yeah, the fun fact here is that the apple wakes you up much more than a cup of coffee. Did you know that? Now you do. <laughs> so, guys, Mara is literally one of the finest places I've ever been you know I've been I've been all over you know and uh, our country is just amazing it is stunning you know it's like you being at home you know God says love your neighbor you know it's as simple as that and you don't even know who your neighbor is that's pretty sad and that's exactly what's happening over here We've been talking to a couple of people, a couple of friends. The tourists come and love our country, which is which is true, yes. We want tourism to build and everything, but we also want <coughs> local tourism to build as well. But all I'm trying to say over here is, if you've been following this series, I'm sure you have, you've been watching what an amazing experience it is to be in the Maasai Mara. So you're staying in Nairobi, you're staying in Mombasa, you're staying in Sumu, you're staying basically in Kenya and you've not been to the Maasai Mara. That's sad. You guys have to come here. We have to appreciate, you know, and they, they also say, you know, you got to love yourself first before you love other people, you know. And I, and I, and I believe that. That's, that's the policy of life. 
we love our Mombasa, we love our Naivasha trips and you know our Nakuru trips and everything Kisumu and everything but why Mara is being ignored? I don't understand. Mara has to be there. It's, it's like on your bucket list you have to say okay you know what I have to make sure I have to visit the Masai Mara and the, the packages are amazing you know that's why I'll tell you uh, Sufyan comes in as well you know he can give you a package he says he gives you a package on your budget so you cannot say it's very expensive and this and that whatever your budget is go to your travel agent and talk to them go to Sufyan go to whoever you want whoever you're comfortable with you know and tell them I want to go to the Masai Mara what can I get this this and this and they will hook you up seriously it is a place it's like paradise on earth and it's just it's not even you know I can say it is the eighth wonder of the world literally you know we pay so much money we want to go and see the pyramids we want to go and see the Eiffel Tower and all that yes that is good it's amazing I'm not saying don't do that even I, I, I want to do that as well but start here at home first you know appreciate the beauty the nature and the wildlife our country is offering it is it is a must you know you have to as a Kenyan you have to say you know what Masai Mara is the place you know I'll even say it in Swahili you know you have to say that Masai Mara lazima lazima niangalia vile nchi yetu iko unajua we have to see our place and we have to say wow Masai Mara is the place so guys that's serious serious talk over here you know because I was thinking about it the place is amazing and it's sad that most of us have not visited the Masai Mara ever before but other places we know but this is an experience you have to do it it should be on your bucket list and you have to say you know and spread the word tell people if people can outside spend thousands of dollars to come and have this amazing experience why can't we and we are here by the way the rates are almost peanuts compared to what the tourists pay you know the, the resident rates are simple you know go to the national parks appreciate our wildlife you know say no to poaching at the same time and you know let's conserve let's appreciate you know all these things are very very important and by being in the Masai Mara I have actually realized the value of this so I'm not just saying only Masai Mara you know visit our national parks Nairobi National Park uh, and Nakuru National Park so many other places are there the wildlife service uh, the Kenya wildlife uh, service has done a brilliant job you go and check it out you love the experience the game is there you know don't disturb them don't cage them let them enjoy the beauty let them be free because that is what it's all about we are free and Kenya is a free country